Hello everyone, welcome back to the map of mathematics. In this video, we are going to solve this nice math algebra problem. And here we have 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equals to 148. And we find the values of a, b and c. And here we have some restrictions in the given question statement is that our a, b and c must be in positive integers and our a is less than b is less than c so according to this can, uh, condition we can find the value of uh, a b and c so that uh, the very first thing we are going to do is here first we multiply and divide the left hand side of this equation by 2 to the power of a so when we multiply 2 to the power of a then we get 2 to the power of a times of 2 to the power of a over 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of a equals to 148 and now in the next step uh, you see here uh, we have 2 to the power of a into these two terms are cancelled by each other and we get 1 plus 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of a equals to we have here 148 so now first we find the prime factors of 148 and we put the prime factors here so you have 148 and we easily find the prime factors of this question or this number and you first we divide it by 2 then you get 2 7s are 14, 2 4s are 8 and we again divide it by 2 and you have 2 3s are 6 and we carry 1 and 2 7s are 14 then we divide it by 37 and 37 1s are 37 so here you get 4 times of 37 you know that 4 times of 37 will become 148 so now in the next step uh, you see here uh, our base is 2 and you know that 2 is an even number so uh, if we have any power of an even number becomes an even number so that this number 2 to the power of a becomes an even number similarly if we divide two even numbers uh, then you uh, uh, again get here even number so the sum of these two numbers are even number but here this one is the odd number and you know that if we add odd number and even number then finally you get its answer in the form of odd number so this whole expression will becomes an odd number and similarly in the right hand side we have this is the 4 and 4 is even number and this is the 37 and 37 will becomes the odd number so now here we compare the even numbers uh, and odd numbers uh, and after comparing even and odd numbers uh, we will get here 2 to the power of a equals to 4 because these two are even number and we have 1 plus 2 to the power of b over 2 to the power of a plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of a equals to 37 because over 37 be the odd number so now we can simplify uh, these terms and we get the values of a b and c so if we focus here uh, then we write the right hand side as 2 to the power of 2 and here you see that bases are same so that uh, we can equate its exponents and after equating its exponent you get the value of a equals to 2 and similarly uh, we move towards the uh, the second case and in this case we first move 1 to the right hand side and you get here 2 to the power of b and we take the LCM of these two terms so you get 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c divided by 2 to the power of a equals to we move this 1 in the right hand side and it will become minus 1 and 37 minus 1 equals to 36 so that uh, here we uh, we solve uh, this equation and we easily get the value of uh, b and c because we already find the value of a so we use this value of a here and you write it as 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c over 4 because when you put the value of a equals to 2 here you get 2 to the power of 2 
and 2 to the power of 2 equals to 4 and in the right hand side we have 36 and we write it as 4 times of 9 so 4 times of 9 will becomes 36 so that uh, in the next step we uh, move here uh, 4 to the right hand side and we get 2 to the power of b plus 2 to the power of c equals to 4 times of 4 times of 9 and here uh, we again take common 2 to the power of b and we get 1 plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of b equals to 4 times of 4 uh, is equals to uh, 16 or you write it as 4 square times of 9 and here you again see that we have 2b be the even number because base is even so uh, any exponent of even number will be even number uh, and this is odd and this is even so the sum of odd and even number will becomes the odd number and here you have this is the even number and this is the odd number so now we compare uh, uh, even and odd numbers on both of the sides and you write it as 2 to the power of b equals to 4 square these are even numbers and odd numbers are 1 plus 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of b equals to 9 so that uh, in this case here we uh, rewrite this expression as 2 to the power of b equals to here we write this 4 as 2 square and 2 square and its whole square it will be equals to 2 to the power of 4 so that uh, in the left hand side we have 2 to the power of b and now we compare both of the sides and you easily get the value of b is equals to 4 so this is the value of b and now we move towards here to find the value of c so that here first we move this uh, uh, this 1 to the right hand side and it will becomes 2 to the power of c minus b because here we use the exponential law uh, and according to this exponential law we have a to the power of m over a to the power of n if basis on nominator and denominator are same so we subtract its exponents and we write it as a to the power of m minus n so uh, we write 2 to the power of c over 2 to the power of b as 2 to the power of c minus b and when we uh, move 1 to the right hand side then you get 9 minus 1 becomes 8 and we write this 8 as 2 cubed because you know that 2 cubed equals to 8 and here you compare both of the sides and you see that bases on both of the sides are same so that we equate its exponent and you get c minus b and the value of b is 4 so we put here c minus 4 equals to 3 and we move this minus 4 in the right hand side then you get c equals to 3 plus 4 is 7 so this is the value of c so we have these three values the value of b is 4 c is 7 and the value of a equals to 2 so these three values of a b and c are must be a positive integer you see here and also you see one thing is that our a is less than b is less than c so if these values of a b c are satisfy the given conditions and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.